Playing sport has been life changing for Wittamu nice. Hummy Order. Yeah. You're really Excited, good. Excited, yeah. Really good, really, yeah. really good. Yep. Yeah. Sweet, mate. Okay, so I've got a bit of a challenge for you. Yeah. I want to see how many shots you can get in one minute. Yep. Yeah. You up for it? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Help transform Wiramu from a shy, overweight kid into a leader. You go. You got five seconds. You can get another shot in. You got three, <laughs> two, one. Put it up on the buzzer. Nice, <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That's twenty. Work it, man. Is that the most you've done? Nah, done twenty-two you done? before. You've done twenty-two in a minute. Yeah. Work it, man. Well, I'm impressed, eh? Yeah. That was cool. You know, as he's got fitter and then his skills have developed. You know, it's pretty self-esteem. He's self-confident. He's now. You know, he's, he's looked up to, he's a leader around the place. <laughs> Widemu's always struggled at school. Now he's respected. He's second coach of Rose Hill School's B basketball go. team. Go! Pass it! Pass it to that one! He's okay. in his last year of school. Come on, bro, you're doing good, bro! Come on! And they're creating work experience for him within the sports department. I like um, teaching others. And uh, do they listen to you? Yep. Yeah. How do the boys react to him as uh, having him as a coach and the girls as well? Um, the girls are sort of typical teenage girls. <laughs> they, uh, they all think he's Mr. Wonderful, but give him a bit of a hard time. And and the boys treat him with respect because they, you know they they realise his, his abilities and and um, you can walk the talk. That's your first point there. Yeah. The track comes, now you're going to have to put a barrier across there to stop people going the wrong way. Today's job, setting the track for the school cross country. All the way around the track, marking the same things with photographs. Since widamu has been involved in the role, he's lost a huge amount of weight and become super fit. Like in a, in a normal day, how much would you run? Uh, a normal day, is about, I can do about 24k, yeah. So you run everywhere, don't yeah. you? Widamu lives yeah. with his Over auntie again. Jean. And again. She's losing and her again. sight, That's so it. relies on Widamu's help. He's learned valuable life skills. And so who cooks the dinner here now? Um, sometimes I do, sometimes he does. But um, he usually cooks a boil up or a roast. If I tell him what we need, he'll go and do it. Widamu cooks, Ooh. mows the lawns, and runs the family vegetable garden. He helps me. He helps me a, a lot of, around the house, uh, especially at night time because that's where yep, yep, uh, yep, night time is, is yep. where I can't see properly. But then he's got a life of his own to do, to, um, you know, go and play or what he wants to do. So yep. I let him do that, yes. Widamu captains a school's A-grade basketball team. He's certain the team will win the Special Olympics Regional Games this December. We've got a bit of a game tonight, mate. How's the, how's the team looking? All good. They're looking good, look. They're practicing, warming up. See, don't need to tell them. They yeah. know. Just uh, lead by example, yeah. you, you know, yeah. you don't have to yeah. say anything. No, they just carry on. Wiramu's a classic example of what happens with a bit of positive reinforcement. Ready, Teddy, go, go! Like most teenagers with an intellectual disability, He'll need help to move on to employment. But he's made himself so valuable at school, they'll be reluctant to let him go.